Right, I see that the clip channel is very quickly becoming the main channel, and the main channel is just becoming clip channel fodder. I understand. I know where the balance lies. And the amount of people that have contacted me and gone, Oh my god, Josh, I love the clip channel. I'm like, oh, good. Good. That's, that's good. That's what I wanted. Fantastic. It's like, you know how I feel? You know if someone... Imagine you walked into, like, a, a game shop dressed up as Master Chief and some little kid walked up to you and went, Ah, oh, it's the guy from Fortnite. That's how I feel. So I shall. Like, imagine if you showed some kid God of War, the first God of War, and they went, Oh my God, it's, it's Kratos from Fortnite. Yeah. That's what it is. People are like, oh my god, it's you from the Clip Channel. Yeah. You can't choose what you become famous for, though. You've just got to do the best you can. You can't choose what you become famous for. That is one of the, the strangest things that I ever had to learn. And it was, it was it drilled into us again and again and again at university. And there's a brilliant, brilliant YouTube video on this. Ironically, the video became super successful on the dude's channel, but it's not what the dude is famous for. The dude is a... A cooking-based channel. And this guy on YouTube made a video about why he seasons his chopping board and not his steak. And that video just took off. And then he made another video about why you don't necessarily want... Why you're not ready for success. So, the whole video is about... Have you... You know the song Cherry Pie? She's my cherry pie. Okay? The guy that wrote that song hates it. He hates it so much. He hates it so much, he unfortunately took his own life because of it. Basically, he was in a rock band. He was in like this kind of, you know, hair metal, um, 80s style rock band. And they, they had an album, and it was a really good album. And the their music manager said to them, yeah, your album's fine, but we need a hit. We need a single, okay? And the dude went home, and within like two days... He wrote, She's My Cherry Pie. And it did so well that he became the cherry pie guy. That was it. Every single concert he ever played, play cherry pie. Everywhere he went, hey, play cherry pie. That was it. And he said in an interview in the, future, uh, in the past, if he could go back and unwrite it, he would do. Because that became him. So... Whenever you become known for something, you have to be willing to be known for that thing and almost only that thing. It's, it's a dangerous and scary but interesting place to be.